Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and today I've been unboxing from NK Cubed. Alright, so here I have four puzzles, it may look like three, but here we have the 180 cube, we have a puzzle cube stand, we have a hexagonal prism, and we have a half proportional 2x2x4. Two two now I'm going to be only going over these two puzzles in this video, and then I'll be going over these two in a separate video. Alright, so first we're just going to go ahead and cover the hexagonal prism, and so what this is, is it's basically a shape mod of a 3x3. Three three. and just appearance wise this thing looks very very well made I really like the colors we have a white orange black green red blue and purple and then a yellow on the bottom so uh, as you can see here this is sort of where the 3x3 three three cross would be and then these are the three layers right here so I guess first turns turns very smoothly a lot smoother than I was expecting This thing turns very, very well. Alright, so this thing looks completely scrambled, but it's actually in checkerboard pattern, believe it or not. I'm going to go ahead and put it back. And this thing turns very, very well. Now, I have a very old video on the Dian Cheng blade puzzle, which is also a hexagonal prism. However, it's a lot shorter and a lot wider. Uh, that's one of my very, very, very early videos years ago, uh, so I don't really recommend watching that, but this is a very, very well-made, handmade puzzle by NK Cubed. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the internals, and then go ahead and scramble this, and then quickly go over a solve. Alright, so I think I said this is handmade. It looks more 3D printed, but I believe he still designed it himself. He's done a great job. This uh, puzzle turns very, very smoothly, and he designed it around a mini 3x3. So that's really cool. So here you can see the pieces glued on to a mini 3x3 three three corner and an edge. And then here you can see it glued on to a mini center cap. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a good scramble and then I'm going to quickly solve this. All right, so that looks about scrambled up. Now since this is just a 3x3 shape mod, I should be able to solve it with the normal algorithms I use for a 3x3. However, when I do shape mods, I personally like to do layer by layer instead of CFOP, which is my normal solving method. Let's start on this. Uh, let's start with this cross right here. Let's look for the black piece that goes there. Now we have the cross. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve these four corners. Here we have the first layer, so you can see it coming together. Uh, so we're solving it like this. Now let's go ahead and continue on and put this off. All right, so now we have the first two layers solved. So far, so good. Now we're going to go on to the last one. All right, now it's just a simple R prime, D prime, R D. For those of you that don't know. Don't know layer by layer. This is for the OG people. This is the method that I first learned how to solve a cube on. All right, so there's the solve of the hexagonal prism. This is a very, very well-made puzzle. It's really interesting that it's sort of all glued onto a mini 3x3. It turns very well. NK Cubes, you did a great job with this. I would highly recommend anyone uh, Check this out if they're able to. I'm not quite sure if they're for sale. But now let's move on to the half proportional 2x2x4. Two by two by Alright, so here we have a 2x2x4. Two by two by now I already have one of these, but it's a fully proportional one, and it is the Rubik's brand one, the Rubik's Tower as it's called. Now this is a half proportional one where these two cubies, or these two are kind of just half of these ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and do first turns. Okay, turning is not as smooth as on the hexagonal prism, but it's still not too bad. There's kind of some resistance when you turn it, but it still turns well. Let's try the middle there. 
some resistance there as well. And I will not be taking this one apart because I know I've had to take apart a 2x2x4 two two years ago and it took a long time to put back together. However, I will be doing a quick solve of this. So the cool thing about 2x2x4 two two is I can also do these turns. But before you do those, you're going to want to scramble up the middle layers as well. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and scramble this up. First, I want to scramble up these different layers, and then I'll scramble it up with these quarter turns. Alright, that looks scrambled enough, and now I'm going to go ahead and do these quarter turns. And when I'm turning it this way, now it feels like it's going to sort of uh, fall apart just because these are kind of loose, but I know that these are really on there and that they are secure. Alright, so that looks about scrambled. Now what I'm going to do is just solve this into the 2x2x4 state. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve this layer right here. Here we have this layer done. Now we're going to solve the layer above it. Alright, now we have the middle two layers. Now we're going to go ahead and solve the bottom one. Now we have to swap these two. Alright, there was the pretty easy solve of the 2x2x4, two by two by the half proportional 2x2x4. Two by two by Once again, thank you very much for NK Cube for sending these puzzles out for me to make a video on. I'll have another video about the other puzzles, the 180 cube and the cube stand. Alright, so that's the half proportional 2x2x4 two two by and the hexagonal prism by NK cubed. I'll have a link to his YouTube channel down below. He has new videos every week, which essentially means that he'll have a new puzzle design every week. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to it to get notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching.